As promised, I'm gonna do life hacks for every single person who commented on my video yesterday. Yeah, you heard me right, I never break a promise. I do go back on them quite a bit, but <laughs> I won't break it. We're just gonna speed run some life hacks together. There's 2,000 comments. Lil Dawes says, hello Brandon, hi Lil Dawes. My problem is I have $5, but I need $10, and all I have is 1.23 pounds of duct tape. What do I do? Lil Dawes, it seems as though you're a little low on money. Let's say you only have $5, because you do. You're just gonna go ahead and rip that in half, right down the middle. Now I know what you're thinking. Brandon, you just ripped my only bill in half. Yeah, I did, but I'm gonna make you rich. Now I understand you only got a little bit of duct tape to work with, so let's be a little stingy here, okay? All right, now this is gonna have to rely pretty heavily on your art skills. Now you can do this any way you want. I took my time, so you probably can't even tell the difference, but this is just one $5 bill, okay? Ain't nobody even gonna notice. Quit it. People are so caught up with the TikToks nowadays, they're not even gonna notice that you slip them a duct tape five, okay? Or that the five is green than normal. <laughs> Life hack, you can do this with any bills. You could do it more, check this out. It's an infinite money glitch. 20 bucks, 35, it just, the math adds up. You're just gonna have to get better and better at artwork. Eventually you can just make your own money uh, by like drawing and printing, not going out and getting a job or anything. That's silly. I'll take 10% of whatever you draw. Thank you, Lil Doss. Casser Guy Crow, Mr. Bird. <laughs> As soon as I saw you in the video, I said, who's that? Out loud because of the shaved beard. It's me, I shaved it. Well, most of it, not the stash though. It's staying there, a dead emoji. <laughs> that weird kid 12, hi Brandon, hi that weird kid 12. My problem is I have too much FNAF stuff. I understand you, you got quite a bit of stuff and at some point you have to say, FNAF, okay. <laughs> it's the best pun I could come up with on, uh, uh, on just a short notice. Do I have literally anything Five Nights at Freddy's here? No, I do have $5 bills though. It's just so much fun. That Weird Kid 12, start an eBay right now. Send me the link to that eBay. Post all your FNAF stuff that you don't want and call it FNAF is a FNAF. <laughs> and I will, I'll promote you and I'll get it, I'll get it out there. We'll sell some of that FNAF stuff for you. Rosaline the Doberman, Mrs. Dog. Hello, I need some help. I really hate my job and I was wondering how to not hate it. I work at a pharmacy with annoying customers and coworkers. <laughs> that's, that's an easy one. Hey, you hate working here too? Yeah, man. I'm sick and tired of this pharmacy. I wish there was something we could do to liven up our day, do something fun, make us enjoy it better. You know what, no, I like it here. <laughs> I'm good, you want one? Eat this after every meal. Wasteful. Uh, these are digestive enzymes. Helps you digest your food better. Now I know that my little skit there seems as though I want you to take the pills, but I do. I want you to be cautious and take digestive pills. You have annoying coworkers? Easy, give them the pills, but make them laxatives and enjoy the rest of your day. Wagons says, I can't seem to get off the toilet. Help, you take too many digestive enzymes? Question, can you not get off the toilet because one, you're stuck, two, you keep pooping, or three, you're stuck. Please be one or three. <laughs> I have solutions for both. Let's go ahead and take care of number two for you. You like wine? Okay, let's say you're ferociously pooping on the porcelain potty. You're gonna wanna grab you a bottle of wine. I'm using menage a trois. Don't get any idea. You're gonna wanna take a big swig of that and then shove that up your butt. <laughs> you're gonna wanna cork it. That should solve your problem temporarily. I think it's Tootin's law. <laughs> what doesn't come out at first will find its way out. Probably be tooting out your mouth soon. Old Tootin, he was a real smart guy. Now let's take care of one and three. You're stuck. Now, maybe your coworker didn't give you laxative at the pharmacy today and you're just stuck on the toilet and you can't get up. I can help. Okay, you can't get up. You're having a hard time. Grab you one of these. It's the same concept. You wouldn't scale Everest without a rope, would you? Okay. Same concept. You're not gonna trek through the pain forest without a bungee. Now you can do this with anything. I like to use a buddy. If you're gonna go number two, you might as well bring your number two, okay? Yeah, you heard me. And then you're just gonna wanna back, back, back that thing up because the only thing holding you back are those kids you're about to drop off at the pool, okay? And once you do, no, you can't join. <laughs> Thank you for catching me. Uh, that Stupid Kid Speed says, Hey Brandon, hi That Stupid Kid Speed. I always fall up the stairs, is there any way to help me? Yeah, here's a quick question, it's rhetorical, you don't have to answer, I'll answer it myself. But what, 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 uh, what, uh, what does tripping look like? Correct. You weren't supposed to answer, but you were right. Skipping, okay? Now, if you skip up the steps, it's gonna look like you're skipping up the steps, but you know good and well you're stubbing your toe on each one. Okay, but you're gonna look graceful, you're gonna feel better about yourself, self-confidence, boom, eventually you'll have the enough courage to stand up to the stairs. 
I feel good about myself. My leg hurts. <laughs> Peppa Pig is life says, hey Brandon, hi Peppa Pig is life. My problem is that I'm in athletics and I don't really want to be in it. I'm scared to change my schedule. Okay, this one's a little out of my wheelhouse, but uh, I think I can help. Yeah, sometimes it helps to have an adult around and I'm, I'm gonna help you out real quick. All you gotta do is sign this contract. I've already signed right here. You just sign right here. I'll sign it for you. Cool, so I own all your stuff. Now let's try to figure out how to get you out of athletics. <laughs> Sorry for spitting directly in your mouth. You shouldn't have your mouth open when I'm talking, okay? That's rude. Peppa Pig is life, don't worry, you're gonna do great, just break a leg. <gasps> FNAF says, cool shirt, FNAF. <laughs> you're supposed to be on eBay right now, but thank you, I appreciate it. Levin Baumgarten says, hola Brandon, hola Levin. Uh, I need some advice. What do you do when your little cousin wants to play, but you're exhausted, so you go lay down, but they jump on me. Help is needed. Yep, it happens. My go-to is normally my knife vest. It's like a life vest, but it takes life. Yeah, patent pending, by the way. Yeah, everyone I show it to just never calls back for some reason. I don't know why. You want to see it? Look at this. I mean, that's an option. I'm glad I could shank your family. I mean, help. Emma 15, how do I stay warm when there isn't any quarters in my pocket? <laughs> this... All too familiar. What size are you in vests? <laughs> Emma Felton says, hi Brandon, hi Emma. Uh, I, my problem is that I'm a gender, which means I don't have a gender, so I feel really, really uncomfortable, two reallys, with my given name, and I'm struggling with trying to choose the right one for myself. Is there any way you can help? Sure, Emma, you're a gender, you don't have a gender, so you want a name that kind of represents that. Let's brainstorm some. How about Fema? No? Masculina? No, no, no. Void. <laughs> I'm thinking void. Null. Abitha? What if you did a mixture of like a popular girl and boy name meshed them, it cancels each other out, boom, a gender. That's your name. <laughs> it's like a ship name. Me and Gloria's ship name would be Grandin. Gross. Gloria and Brandon. Glandon. <laughs> Let's just mix your first name and your last name together, cancel each other's out, boom, problem solved. Emma Felton. Fema. Crap, we have already said that. Emilton. Hmm. You sound 97 years old. Emilton is now your new name. That's actually a pretty cool name. Glad I could brainstorm a couple ideas for you, Hamilton. Okay, Chris Wise, day eight of asking Brandon, I have two for you. When I go to bed, my feet are always cold when I go to sleep, but I feel that sleeping with socks is wrong. Yeah, it is. Can you help? Don't. Also, whenever I go to my grandma's house, I see a grandfather clock, I start floating, what do? Okay, I got you, hold on. Uh, and if I only could make a deal with God and get him to swap our places, I wouldn't wear your socks because that is gross and no one should wear socks to bed. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I stole your socks and burned them. Liz Bevan says, hi, Brandon. Hi, Liz. Uh, I dropped glitter all over my room, dot my. Mom will kill me, dot do. You have any life hacks that will save me? <laughs> Emoji. I, dot me, usually, dot do, um, call my dot cleaner, <laughs> and she does dot do it. <laughs> and that's, that's dot it. A vacuum will work, but hear me dot out. You don't want a strong vacuum, okay? Because all that glitter is already in the carpet. Uh, you just want to get the surface level so your mom don't see. You get a strong vacuum, it's gonna start sucking up glitter from the carpet and you're gonna have way more glitter to clean up. I promise you, I've done it. Ashlyn Rios, hey Brandon, hi Ashlyn. My problem is I never have any glitter anywhere. Do you have any life hacks to get glitter everywhere? <laughs> Become friends with Liz. <laughs> you guys would be a perfect match. But yeah, I do. I always start pretty small, okay? And then, th oh, those are dog bones. Those are not dog bones. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> or whoopsie Dante, it looks like. Wow, wait. Well, that's gonna be fun for my dot cleaner to dot clean up. You should just be friends with someone who has glitter. Well, I hope there's none in my hair. I have a bit, oh, there are. <laughs> I have a business meeting later. Dante, now is not the time. Ev you says, hey Brandon, Ev you. Hi, my problem is I always, is always, when I bake my potatoes, they always explode. How do I stop that? I think I have potatoes. So when you're baking a potato, all the potato inside of the potato starts to build up more potato, okay? And then that potato needs to get out somewhere. So what you could do is just relieve the pressure. Yeah, that should be good. Bacon 350, good to go. Jokeman23 says, hi, my name is Lily. Hi, Lily. My problem is I don't have my buy candy to Brandon. Yes. <laughs> is this the issue? <laughs> you, you want one of these? I can give you five bucks. Hold on. Take it. Just take it. No, no. I insist. Please take it. Take it. Take the money. Take it now. If you buy candy to 
Oh, you want candy that goes both ways. Hey, were you gonna eat this? This is by candy. It goes both ways. It's a digestive pill, but it's super sweet and it tastes like candy, but it's also good for you. So drawing account says, hey Brandon, hi drawing account. My problem is mm -hmm, that I can never seem to focus on one thing for very long. Unless I enjoy that something, how can I focus on things that I don't enjoy, but have to focus on? Don't do those things. If you, now I know that sounds like an insult, but it's the beginning of a sentence. Hold on, if you are a grown adult, I would say stop focusing on the things you don't enjoy. I rarely do anything that I don't enjoy, which is why I don't do much other than <laughs> film for you. On the other hand, if you're say, I don't know, very child, and you're asking me and you're talking about, I don't know, something very school, uh, you don't have to enjoy it, just do it. The knife fest works as well if someone's making you do it. Hey Brandon, hi Echo Quantum. I have a problem where I fall in my toilet every time I try to use it. Is there anything that will help? Mm-hmm, there is. Grab your bro and grab you a bungee, okay? Wait, not right now. That should shoot you right out of the toilet, both ways. I mean, if you're not ready to go, you're gonna go, okay? Because it's very violent. Hayden Bibbs says, hey Brandon, hi Hayden. I have a problem ripping duct tape, please help. Finally, something, something I'm good at. Pretty self-explanatory. Take out as much tape as you need, set that aside, take out another piece you need, say you need to cut this piece, okay? What you're gonna do, place it right over where you want it, flip it over, and then you pull this part off. It, it rips pretty easy, you just, I mean, that's how I do it, but you can obviously do it however you wanna do it. Just saying, no one probably knows better than me about duct tape. Kai says, Brandon, my dog died and my cat won't stop digging at the grave, what do I do? I think what we need to do is give your frog a proper burial. Would you like me to speak a few words? We are gathered here today, m most of us, uh, but the dirt's dug up, to give thanks and to appreciate the life lived by, what was the frog's name? Fema? Interesting. Femma the Frog, and I know that Femma the Frog, wherever it is, is doing better. Better, better, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Glad it could help. Macy Brooks says, hey Brennan, hi Macy Brooks. My 75 pound dog thinks she's a cat and crawls behind my head and when I'm sitting down. Any life hacks for that? Should I duct tape her to the ceiling? Love your videos. You solved it, man. <laughs> that that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna take your dog and create a chandelier, but now I feel as though I need to come up with a different option. So you don't want your dog up here, okay? You want your dog down here. Now this one's a bit controversial, but hear me out. This way your dog don't care what the heck you got on your neck. It's gonna be licking your peanut butter and jail heel. Dogs can't resist peanut butter. Glad I could help you and your dog bond more. Captain Redbeard says, hey Brandon, hey Captain Redbeard. My problem is I'm too short and I can't reach things in my cabinet or on my bookshelf, how can I fix this? It'd be an honor, Captain, to serve you in creating a life hack that will make your life easier. You like peanut butter? Let's say your average height for a short man and you can't reach the top of your shelves, but you can reach about three fourths of the way up, okay? That's all you need. Captain, I found a new recruit. No, he does not have a beard. He's very famous. Southland Vibes 324 says, Hey, Brandon. Hi, Southland. Uh, my problem is I'm super obsessed with cars and spend too much money and go broke. Solutions? Can you try this? No? Okay. Um, okay. What if we stop spending so much? Steal? You steal? You like to steal? Never thought of that, have you? Yeah. You can take other people's stuff. It's prison time, but you, you could do it. I'm not saying go out there and steal stuff. Um, well, I am. I mean, there's consequences. Apples and oranges, okay? You wanna be broke or you wanna go to prison? Or you want both, okay? Cause you can have it. You can have whatever you want. Uh, Relev Leverton says, hey Brandon, hi Relev. Um, I have a problem where when I eat out, nope, that is not the sentence you wrote. Okay, Relev says, hi Brandon, hello Relev. I have a problem where when I eat, I black out. Can you help me not black out, please? I'm assuming when you eat, the food gets stuck, you can't, you can't breathe, you pass out, okay? But, there is a famous saying that there is two ways to a man's heart. One is through the mouth and the other one's through the butt. Yep, that's most people. It doesn't have to be a man. That's typically how the body's, body's built. We need to get food into your stomach, okay? But there's a detour. This exit's blocked off, but this exit not blocked off, okay? Wide open. Sit on a bag of chips. Let me know how you feel in about 20 minutes. Mmm. Oh, those are spicy. Hello, Hillian says, I keep getting targeted in dodgeball and I need a way to defend myself. Help, please. If you play in dodgeball at all, then you know the defense. Dodge, dip, dive, duck, dodge. Don't go to that school anymore. <laughs> They're targeting you, okay? Bullies. Glad it could help. Hannah Elmore says, hi, Brandon. Hi, Hannah. I wanted to play Mancala, Mancala, Mancala with someone, but now I want to play the Bob Ross board game, but nobody will play that either. Please help. Hannah, I can do you one better. We can play a game right now. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Which hand is the booth talkie in? 
Correct. I was gonna play scissors, by the way. Social Reject says, hi, Brandon. Hi, Social Reject. My problem is everyone around me says duct tape instead of duct tape. What do I do? Violence. <laughs> mm, one of them. Okay, am I promoting violence? Yes. Do, do, do it. <laughs> Shut up. I did not stutter. You know what, Social Reject? No. I take it all back. And hopefully you haven't started your rampage of violence yet. Let them. Okay. Let them say it. Okay. Let them say it to your face. And just let those vile things slide right off your back like water does on a duck back. <laughs> Claire Huffer says, hey Brandon. Hi Claire. My problem is that every time I speak, I stutter and stumble over my words. What do? I <laughs> didn't even mean to do it there. I don't think I'm the best one to help. Possibly slow down or speed up. I mean, you, the faster you talk, the less they can hear you stutter. They just think you're speaking real fast words <laughs> that have only B's in it. You, you never heard of... of, 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 of. It's a word. <laughs> It's in the dictionary. Confidence is key when it comes to stuttering. The bird blog says, hi Brandon, hi bird blog. My sister is really clumsy and has a habit of breaking stuff because of it. Any life hacks for her? Sure. Just be a good sibling and break everything in the house so that she can't break it anymore. And then duct tape everything before mom gets home. Problem solved and problem created. You're welcome. Caitlin says, make clothes out of, yeah, that's a great way to laugh and watch it, watch yourself. Yes, <laughs> I, I agree. Thank you. I really appreciate it. What are these replies? Forget that last part, using the voice thing sucks. <laughs> That's the greatest comment I've ever seen. I still don't know which which direction to take to give you a life hack here. Oh, forgot to do the intro. Hi, welcome back to the ever-expanding Dudaverse, you dirty little dude. Uh, I'm doing life hacks. You, If you've watched this far and you don't know what's happening still, whatever I say is not gonna help. I love you so much. Hey, I'm doing the outro too. We're still going. Trainer Will says, Brandon, I have a... Poor Balaam. Yes, you do. You see, I have no fashion sense whatsoever. That and I have missing teeth. Maybe that's why I'm single. No, no, no. Is a poor Blam slang for problem? Or is a poor Blam slang for I have a tattoo on my forehead that says Subway for Life? One of those things might be the reason why you're single. Well, I drew this up. You can go ahead and print these out and post them around the city. That's just a missing tooth with have you seen me and then DM at I'm Brandon Ferris on Instagram. Yeah, you put these around. I think we can find those teeth. Might as well kill two birds with one stone. Uh, this is a girlfriend looking for one. Maybe you find a girlfriend with extra teeth. Boom, that's just a win-win. You find one with extra teeth, you you found yourself a winner. Trainer Will, we're gonna find a way to fix that poor blam, okay? Zero Smout says, hey Brandon, hi Zero Smout. My problem is that my older brother is always hanging on uh, me off trees by my hood. Any advice slash life hacks? What? Your brother sounds awful. Like this? <gasps> For personal experience, wear one with a zipper. Uh, Kaka Sensel Bean <laughs> says, Hey, Brandon. Hi, Kaka. My problem is that when I eat, I get hungry two minutes later. What do? Day two of asking. I just never stop eating. I'm also still sitting on the talkie. Something's always going in or going out, okay? Jovo says, hi, Brandon. Hi, Jovo. I like Star Wars, and I happen to know someone who could do a whack, okay, with a glow stick. However, lightsabers aren't real. Could duct tape help me out? Oh, this comment was edited too. <laughs> However, lightsabers aren't real. Could duct tape help me out? Yeah, yes. I made an entire sword out of duct tape, and it's pretty real. <laughs> Stabs real, feels real. Jovo, you make you one of these and start poking around in your friend's business. Your friend ain't gonna who could you a whack with a glowy stick anymore, okay? I can promise you that. Tumble with Bailey says, hey Brandon. Hi, Tumble with Bailey. My problem is when I walk into a room, I always hot the corner on my, of my dresser. Please help me not hit the corner of my toe hurts. Now I know you're probably thinking I'm gonna cut the corner off the dresser. No, no, okay, that's just structurally unsound, okay? For this life hack, you're gonna wanna develop a hunchback. Yeah, I've developed it over years from bending down to talk to you into the camera view because if I stood up straight, I would be out of it, okay? So I've developed this pretty nasty hunchback. I call this the Hooters test. With a little bit of time and a lot of poor posture, your head's gonna hit stuff before your feet do. Your feet are gonna be fine after a while. That's thinking with your head. That's also hitting things with your head. Abigail Harrison says, I'm German and English. Yeah, it sounds like most of these comments are. <laughs> yes, I am also German. Alicia Nye, how do I stop picking my fingernails? You pick them? That's not satisfying at all. That's awful. Why? <laughs> Just bite them, bite them. Problem solved. Alicia Philemon says, can you build a hammock for Kelly and you? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. 
Emily Payne says, I'm a professional mermaid. Uh, I put on a silicone mermaid tail and entertain kids at pool parties. My problem is that ever since the pandemic, people haven't been having as many parties, so I'm not getting hired as much. Emily Payne, everyone, is a mermaid, okay? She comes to your house and she cleans your house in a mermaid costume. And you guys aren't hiring her? Y'all don't have messes? What? Hmm? What do you mean I got that wrong? The heck is a mermaid then? Sorry, Emily, I may have gotten you the wrong type of business, but I did get you hired. Everyone, Emily Payne, professional water cleaner at your service. She can't do stairs, okay? <laughs> one level, underwater. If your house has water damage, she's the one. Lalos MT says, hey, Brandon, hi, Lalos. Uh, so I accidentally painted on my wall and I don't know how to get it out. Could you show me a life hack on cleaning it off? Super easy, I too have painted my walls almost daily. Well, what I've done here is I've painted a realistic looking hole in my wall. That way, when mom comes home, she's gonna say, did you put a hole in the wall? And you'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I did. And then when she finds out it's paint, she's gonna be so relieved it's not a hole. I don't know how she's gonna react after that. <laughs> Tell your mama said hi. Switch says, as a goth, I fully approve of the goth box. Thank you, yesterday's episode. Let's shape it like bat wings and paint it black though, perfection. Hmm, okay. New and improved goth box. <laughs> I ran out of black paint, but it looks cool, and you can still shut people out. No, I'm not here. I'll be selling goth boxes on my website at umbrandonferris.com. Uh, you're welcome, Switch. Uh, Alyssa Jones says, hello, Brandon. Hi, Alyssa. I have a problem with my cat. He never wants to cuddle me, and I can't touch any other cat without him scratching me. Uh, I have any hacks. It sounds like you're in a pretty abusive relationship. <laughs> or you could just wear a catnip necklace, and you'll be wearing real fur real quick. Come here, Kiki. <laughs> Come cuddle dirty. Whatever gets the cat to cuddle, am I right? Glad I could help. Colon OMG says, can you try make a wig made out of cooked spaghetti noodles or angel hair pasta? Boy, I was really just trying to speed through these. Y'all got me doing some big, big life hacks. I can. Glad I could help. <laughs> now, if you would have said may you, different story. But yes, I can. I absolutely can do that. Uh, not going to, but I can. I did it. Tildy says, hi, Brandon. Hi, Tildy. I love your content so much. Thank you. You should make a swing out of duct tape. Should, should I? <laughs> we, oui. yeah, I'm French now. We, oui, we, oui. this is fun. Glad I could do that for myself. Scott Tilly says, Mr. Ferris, Mr. Tilly, I have an issue with goldfish. I always get the flavor blasted ones because they are top tier, but they get my hands dirty and dusty. What do? Got a problem just for you. Uh, your fingers get dirty. I also have the solution. I do believe that finger dust is the best stuff in the world. But then there's those times that you go in to lick your finger dust and you realize, oh, I didn't wash my hands before that. That's why I patent these denim knees. Just cut two patches of denim out of your favorite denim pants and then duck duck goose tape them around your knees and then boom. I even tape one to the back of my box. That way, when you're done, now you're licking denim. Filipino American Boy TV replied and said, yes, I will buy. If you're confused, me and Filipino American Boy TV, I've been playing an ongoing game of Monopoly where they're winning a lot and I'm not doing as well, um, but they will buy the properties. Let's go and play, I'll show you. So you wanted to buy Nestle Cabin for 260. I'm gonna take one of these five hundos and give you proper change. No, I'm not gonna say a number out loud because I'm still thinking of what that change would be. 240. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll organize this better later, but there's your 240. You're, you're doing very well. I'm collecting blues, okay, right now. I don't want any other color but blue. So it's my turn to roll. Six. I'm way over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Painting knife. Isn't that like the utility thing? I don't want it. I'll let you buy it if you want it. 150. If you want it, you let me know. I'll let you have it, but I'll roll for you as well. Your roll is a four. Sorry. Good heavenly day. Delightful Meadow, do you want it for 300? Now, you have about $760. Let me know. 300, 150, totally up to you, you can have it. That's my thumb. I'm so glad I got to share my knowledge with you. Thank you for listening. Um, I have to go to a business meeting, so I gotta put in my goth box and get in there. But I love you, and I hope you have the best day ever. Mainly because I said so, but mostly because you want to. What's your problem? Put it in the comments below. You might be in the next video. Let me know if you like this style of just speed running through comments. We can do this again sometime. I had a good time. You wanna go on a second time?